Hey everyone, and welcome back to part two of this week's Top Cam Builds. If this is your first time watching, or you just didn't see my last video, I announced that this week's Top 5 Showcase will be in two parts, as there were so many camp submissions. If you're new here, basically every Friday at 4pm UK time, I upload a showcase showing off the top camps of that week. So if that sounds like your type of thing, make sure to subscribe. So part one is the top five camps, excluding pre-existing structure camps. And then this one obviously is this week's top five pre-existing camp build. If any of the builds in this video stand out to you, make sure to go and check out the creator's channel. All of the links of the people involved are in the description below. And of course, if you enjoy this video, be sure to support me by clicking on that like button. That all being said, let's get into the showcase. At number one this episode, we have Jammy Chap. Now, Jammy Chap has made his camp in the Ash Heap, in one of the only glitchable, buildable type of buildings you can glitch your way into, if that, if that made any sense whatsoever, I'm not sure. But yeah, this is a location in the Ash Heap where you can glitch your way into that building on the right-hand side using a chair, using a cooking station, using whatever you like, an instrument, whatever. And he has done an absolutely phenomenal job with this one. Now, a lot of people go with the same route where they just have a tiny bit of decoration on the outside and focus completely on the inside. But Jammy Chap has gone completely different. He's done all this decorative type of stuff outside. He's made his own farm and he's got the new shed over there as well. And then inside he did an absolutely amazing job as well. Usually when you see people build here, they don't try and glitch in the floors or place the floors down or walls or anything. They just use what is there already. So you've got this like dirty old floor and these dirty old walls. But Jammy's done it completely different. He's put foundations down, as you can see. He's put some wallpaper up and he's put some nice flooring down on the foundations. And it looks awesome. The decorating is brilliant. And I've got to say, Jammy, this is probably my favorite build that you have done. Absolutely brilliant job. Recently, your builds have just been getting better and better. And the recording, I've got to say, is absolutely great. It looks great, the photo mode, the just the whole movement and everything, you're giving everyone plenty of time to have a good look around. At number two, we've got Redhead of Epic with this really, really cool build. Now you look at it here and you will think to yourself, well, this is a pretty standard build, you know, it's just a big building with a lot of vendors in, some workbenches and stuff. But that's not why I really like this camp. The reason I really like this camp, you will see in just a moment when they go and wander just around the side. So that's that there. And then just as you come over here to the left hand side, you will find this big pipe just in between these two water purifiers. Now, I didn't know this was a thing. It's just uh, near foundation. So you can go build there if you like, go try and find it. But this is really, really cool. I've got so many ideas popping in my head when I see this pipe, but it looks just, it looks great. Like this entrance to a camp is so cool and I just really like it. I don't know, drop a comment down below guys. Have you seen this before? Because this is the first time for me. It looks awesome inside. The way he's got the plants on the left hand side and then the decoration on the inside looks absolutely great. Fantastic job, Redhead of Epic. It looks great. Now, if you look around here as well, you've got obviously the Satan, a desk and stuff, and you've got a nice fireplace. And then as you come up these stairs, you will find out that you go into behind the counter of the shop style building. Up at number three, we have That Butcher Pete, who is absolutely brilliant with his editing in this one. If you go and watch the actual original video, it's so well set out. So he's got like music playing in the background. He goes wandering around the camp, as you can see. And in a moment, I'm speaking a bit ahead of time here already, but in a moment when he goes and enters the building which he's renovated, um, what's his face? Beckett comes up, <laughs> I forgot his name for a second there, Beckett comes up to him and he says to him, oh nice to have you back around here or something like that. And it just like cuts out all of the music so he can see that and then the music cuts back in and he continues on with the showcase. It is a really cool little thing that he did and I really, really liked it. But this is it, I think the renovating on this one is absolutely brilliant, like it looks like it should be here. And the whole feel of the camp makes you feel like this is Beckett's place, this is his house, this is where he's living now that he's returned back to Appalachia. And it is just great. The amount of stuff that you've crammed in to make it proper filled out. And then on top of that, you've got all of the stuff that was already there with the like spawnable items, such as the sugar on the side there that you can see 
the other bits and bobs dotted around, it looks great. And I really, really like this one. I love it when people bring like these type of builds into into the camp type of thing and adopt them into the whole camp build and really do a good job of turning them into like a livable camp and it's good to just look at them to see like what have they changed like you can if you look carefully you will spot things like that shelving unit right there that was already there the mirror on the wall already there so was the lamp and then you see all the other things that they've added in it's really really cool up next we have Matt Wilmot with this really cool train station idea. Now I really like this one, it looks great inside, it's very spacious and stuff like that and it looks great. The camera, uh, the photo mode sorry, that has been using this one to get the angles and the like panning shots of it looks absolutely brilliant. So great job Matt, I really like it. And it looks, it looks like how you'd imagine a train station to be, but then at the same time it's kind of got this like feel as though like it's been taken over by settlers or raiders, whoever you fancy, and they've kind of renovated renovated the place to like depend on what they wanted and what they could find and stuff. So you've got this place of Haywood Beckett's Bar and it just fits so well. And then obviously over there, as you will see in just a moment, where it says next train never. It's kind of like you would imagine, like say the raiders would have just hired that up there just to kind of take the make that there will be no more trains or anything like that. That's it there on the left hand side that I was on about. And it just it just looks really nice. It's got a really nice feel to it. I love the type of camps like this where they have like the built around something. Like I just really love pre-existing structure camps if you haven't noticed already. But yeah, the ones with trains are awesome. I know Scorpio did one ages ago with a train and his was like a whole thing where it was built around like raiders taking over a traveling train and it would, it just looks awesome like i love these builds so great job guys thank you for sending them in last but not least we have c worthy rain 71 with this really cool camp now you will definitely know this location if you've been watching the showcases for a while i believe knee notch did a camp here and a couple of us have done as well it's a really popular place and it works so well for a lot of builds again we've got a train here and we've got this nice kind of fire pit over there and a lot of other bits and bobs it just looks great and as you go further up this camp it gets better and better with each level so on the second wait this is the third floor now because i skipped the uh, first one on this one you've got beckett's bar area i really like the lighting in that corner with the new cola lamp it always looks brilliant that thing and the red eye posters look brilliant as well i like the whole setup with this one with the pool table there the lighting around beckett's bar and how it's been extended using the uh, gun displays so that's been like covering up the gaps in between the different units there so you can't see them and then over here you've got this like locked away weapons kind of barracks type of feel thing over there then up on the last floor it gets really really interesting he's made out this whole little scene where he's got a couple of friends together to act it all out and it is a really cool bit in the video where this comes along and it's just so random out the blue You've got a vault dweller there, you can imagine these being cannibals or something like that. And this raider is about to cut up the vault dweller with a chainsaw as the other person stood there like, wait there, what, this, what the hell, what have I stepped into here? Great job Seaworthy Rain, I really enjoyed that. And great job everyone who got involved. Now this is a one-off guys, like I say, this is a part two of the weekly showcase, so don't be expecting this every week. Um, normally, if this is your first time watching, this is normally a Friday thing, 4pm UK time. If you want to get involved in the next one, you've got to join the Discord. The link is in the description. Make a video on your camp and share it in the camp submissions box in there. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you all have a great day. Catch you all later. Bye bye.